Good afternoon. Uh, so I am down on the end of the middle lake again. Um, so this morning I've actually been cutting the rest of the hedge along there and I've got the big shredder in uh, to shred that all. That video should have come out last week. Uh, so for me it's just a couple of minutes later, for you a week later. Um, so I said I was going to try and deal with these. Um, so obviously the fishermen on the platforms there keep getting their equipment tangled in there. This one should be relatively easy to take out because uh, I can take that right down to the base. This one is the next one that I'm going to deal with, uh, which is a lot more difficult because that is attached about 10, 12 foot up on that tree. I don't really want to get a ladder to do that. Um, so I've got my extendable pole saw, hand saw, uh, and I'm just going to see what I can cut off uh, just to make it a little bit more open and we'll come up with some other plan later. Um, but yeah, let's start with this one. <laughs> You can tell it's getting to the end of a hard day. Uh, starting to make stupid mistakes. So 
Sorry about not adjusting the camera angle so you can actually see me cutting that up and leaving you where you were. Uh, but yeah, other stupid mistake I've done is shredders over there. Um, really, I could do with it here to put it into that section there because there's nothing there rather than piling the wood chip on top of more wood chip. And I don't want to bury the logs. Um, but stuff it, it can be shredded onto the wood chip that's already there. So yeah, let's get this shredded. Okay, so that's my hot pulse are on full extent now. Let's uh, see what I can get from up here. I think I'm going to have to stop using the pole saw there. Um, so I know there's a bit of tearing out there. I don't. I'm not worried about that because obviously I'm going to carry on and cut it back. Um, but where well, it's the end of the day, my back is killing me. My hands are killing me. And for the sake of a few branches, yes, great. I can get them shredded and dealt with, but it's just not worth it because then I won't be able to do anything tomorrow. So I might as well just leave it. Um, what I'm thinking is this stuff's cutting quite easily. I believe it's a popular. Um, but I can get a ladder up to that branch there and to be honest even if I end up cutting it by hand um, I can cut most of the that one's got very little weight on it anyway but I can cut most of that off uh, and then reposition the ladder cut a bit more off uh, it's so close to the tree it's not suddenly going to spring up um, same for the other one the other one's got a lot more weight on it so I'll have to be a lot more careful um, but I think that's just not a job for dealing with right now. So, um, yeah, let's get this cut up and shredded. I think we're going to leave that there. So, yeah.
Okay, so that's that all shredded. Uh, now you might notice me having a bit of a problem with some of the bits. Uh, so obviously as this chute goes down, it narrows at the bottom. Uh, so some of the bits where they're branched down, will start to go through, will go down halfway, and then there'd just be a bit too much restriction. Um, so if I had a long, I could have used one of those pieces of wood over, over there uh, but to just push them through. Um, the other option was pull them out and sort of throw them to give them a bit more force. Uh, I, I'm guessing from your angle it would have looked like I was putting my arms quite a long way down but to be honest that's as far as I can comfortably reach. Uh, so that takes it to about there and the blades don't start until there so I was perfectly safe. Um, so yeah, I am going to speak to the owner and see what he says about these two branches. So I will either end the video here, uh, by which time, by now you should be seeing cards appearing, uh, or if not, um, I shall tell you what I'm doing when I've worked it out. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back. It's two weeks later now, because uh, to be honest, doing all that shredding the other way, completely knackered me uh, it's taken me a little long to recover so um, yeah got the chainsaw go get these two branches down today this is my entire plan for the day is we're shut today so nobody's around I can take as long as I want over this and just get them down uh, so yeah unfortunately the size of that branch I'm not gonna be able to do it by hand I've got to use a chainsaw which means I've got to get up there which means I've got to have a ladder um, so the ladder's not at the best angle, it's not the worst angle, um, but because of that uh, laurel there, you can't get the base far out enough and still climb it. Um, but the main risk of it being too vertical is that I'll fall backwards, but the laurel's there to stop me from falling. I've tied the ladder up at the top, so the ladder is nice and secure. So I've only got the two branches to remove. Um, I've had a little bit, bit of a play this morning so far, and things haven't gone well. <laughs> so started off with the chainsaw, the chainsaw was blunt because I had never sharpened it the other day. So I sharpened it, put the chain back on, chain ran the wrong way, and it's just like, oh dear. But yeah, so everything's working now. Uh, I've looked at where the branch is going to fall. So obviously this big one's coming down here. So I took this side branch off here because that was going to get damaged. Probably find some more of this gets damaged as well, but we'll sit, tie it up afterwards, see what happens when it lands. Um, yeah. I think I'll get you on a stand or something and um, let's get cutting. Okay, welcome to Hat Cam. Uh, hopefully you can see what I can see now. So I'm gonna start the chainsaw climb up with it running. Um, obviously I'll have the chain brake on so it can't actually cut anything, um, but the motor will be running because I don't want to be pulling the cord whilst I'm up the ladder, so. <laughs> do this to me. You're telling me I'm going to have to start you up sir.
good ladder to get me that piece done. So there we go, all down. Hopefully the helmet camera works nicely and you've got a good view. Uh, if not, uh, I'm not sticking it back up there to do it again. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a bit bigger when it cut down here now. Uh, so that one wasn't too bad. This was a bigger one. Uh, but you can see, to be honest, it's actually good that it's come down. Because you can see here it's starting to split uh, and just break underneath its own weight. So it was good to get that off. Uh, I've not done too much damage here. Uh, it's kind of done what I was expecting. Um, this one has been torn off, which is the one that was going over that way, and there's a couple of scrapes on that. Um, but that's laurel. You, you can't really kill a laurel. That'll just sprout out again. So, yeah, uh, I'll put you on the stand. I'll do a bit of tidying up, uh, get this off the path, and um, yeah, let's see how long that takes. Okay, so that's everything cut up and off the path here. Uh, so if I don't manage to get this all clear today, then access is still fine. Um, I've managed to get the small stump off of there, the broken branches off there, and the overhanging level branch. So that's all done and dealt with. So everything is now down on the ground. Now obviously it would be nice to just shove that through the shredder like last time, but obviously I only had it for a day, so I've not got the shredder now. Uh, so unfortunately, I'm now gonna have to go and get the lawnmower and drag all of this with the lawnmower from here all the way to a bonfire pile so I can burn it. Um, so that'll take me the rest of the day I should think. Um, but yeah, uh, once I'm finished I'll stick it after shot in. Um, big logs again, I'm going to stack over there with the other big logs. I haven't quite decided what we're doing with those. Um, my log store at home is quite full. I don't know how much the owner needs. Uh, I don't really want to just burn all that lot. I am wondering about maybe putting free logs in the car park. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'll have to speak to the owner about that. Um, but yeah, I shall get this cleared and um, I shall see you later. So I managed to get it all cleared today. Um, that's all down by the bonfire pile now, drying out, ready to burn on bonfire. Uh, but yeah, I'm now knackered, so I'm going home. See you later.